5,400 pounds, almost dead on the nose. An extremely well-kept Gray Wolf 27BH coming in on trade here at Halet RV of Goldwater, Michigan. They're done with the family camper and swapping her out for a big Montana luxury fifth wheel. Big front living sucker, actually. Um, I can only find one little blemish on this thing. I will point it out to you when we go inside, and that is all I can say about it. However, in my view, vastly outweighing the little blemish that will not affect how the RV works, this RV is going to include the previous owner's hitching. They have a Reese dual cam hitch system here that they no longer need since they're buying a fifth wheel. So they said, you know what? The next people can have it. It served us well. Maybe it'll serve them well too. So that's several hundred dollars worth of stuff you don't need to buy. Awesome for first timers. Now when you come in the door there, it might get a little tight between the slide out and the dinette here because they do extend the sofa out quite a bit since there's storage behind the sofa. But you can get yourself, you can do the sideways travel trailer shuffle to get there to the bunks, to the bathroom, to the storage. So this RV is completely 100% travel accessible. Um, you know, and that's, that's always winter. And I love having the easy quick access, the refrigerator right here by the door. Now, the first thing that struck me when I walked into this is just that general cleanliness. This is a completely carpetless camper, as you just saw, which is very nice. But it is also clean and well kept. It does not smell like human odor in here. It doesn't smell like smokers or pets or anything like that. It is clean. These folks knew how to keep a very nice camper. That sofa can jackknife down into a little sleeper. Now you see how there's like this ledge or this box behind it. That's actually outside storage on the face of the slide out that we'll get to take a look at. Just like the sofa, your dinette here can fold down into a sleeper. And this little punch through that side panel, they were moving some cargo around, something slipped, popped about a one and a half inch, um, you know, diameter hole in that. That's, that's it. That's all I can say about this thing. Other than that, it's fine. Now here in your living room, your cross breeze windows, they're both huge. And they both have nice wooden shades so that they're very rugged and easy to clean. We do have central air. We have cabinet ducted heating, so there's no heat vents in the floor. Uh, simple Bluetooth stereo system here, and you'll also find uh, there's uh, a matching TV bracket in the bedroom and outside, and you'll actually see that they have the TV currently mounted in the bedroom when we go through, because that one TV can float through multiple areas of the camper. This is a classic, what I refer to as Jack and Jill bunk. couple niceties about this. It's very easy for the kiddos to be able to climb themselves into the upper bunk, since they can use the bottom bunk as a step. But this is one of those things that the Cherokee factory always went above and beyond here. They in-house built this extra big full extension plywood drawer under this right here just to add that. So you've got a cabinet and a drawer for the kids back here. And it doesn't really look like the bunks were used a whole heck of a lot. What you're seeing here, the fabric twist right there, that's actually for me climbing in there to, to lift up that shade. Now this has an open split bathroom back here. So you, uh, you don't have to like, um, you know, wash your hands after coming out of the bathroom in the kitchen sink. But what's nice is that if you do have a kiddo in the uh, bathroom, either, you know, using the potty or taking a shower or something like that, you can get another one of them out here, either getting ready for the morning or, uh, you know, for bed, they can brush their teeth, wash their hands, whatever. And an extra big medicine cabinet here is always handy. Now you see how this door actually hangs down a little bit here. It's purpose intent because they have a larger max air vent fan here in this bathroom to promote better airflow. And that's basically, because it's a bigger fan with more power, it can effectively promote whole house airflow as opposed to only one room airflow. Um, simple foot flush toilet, but with extra leg room in front of it so that you're not going to be you know, tripping uh, or uh, you know, doing some weird kind of twist them up bathroom yoga. Now, um, really struck me is how all the upholsteries and everything are still in nice good condition now i've seen floor plans like this before like jaco for many years called it a 28 bhs which is now a completely different camper but um they always had a more shallow slide this has a deeper slide for most versions of this layout i have seen and once again other than the little ding in the cabinet or in the uh, dinette face down there guys i can't find anything that really concerns me about this like at all now these corner kitchens have regained a great deal of popularity um, due to the fact that they have a lot of dedicated prep space there. And you can see that we've got easy reach outlets down here where appliances can easily get to them. But one of the things I like to do if we start up here and take a look, 
open this all up and you can see that there's a very respectable amount of storage going on in this kitchen and some big full extension plywood box drawers that are a lot taller and deeper than normal drawers in most campers. Now that sink over there, it's a one basin, what's called farm sink. Um, really has kind of spiked in popularity recently here. And that little copper bronzy looking brushed fixture up top, that is a pull out sprayer type faucet. And as we mentioned uh, earlier in the video, very easy, quick access to the refrigerator. So if you need to like get in, get out, get a drink, you're not going to track dirt through the whole camper, which is probably one of the reasons this thing is clean. I love the floor to ceiling mirrored door on this. It makes it feel and look so much bigger. Now you see full overhead cabinet storage and a nice side stand with some outlets over there. This is a normal um, shorter camp queen, keep that in mind. If you are willing to sacrifice the ability to walk around it, you could very easily upgrade it to a full queen, however, because there is room down here. And there is the original factory TV, as I mentioned, here in the bedroom. That can float between the bedroom, the living room, and outside very quickly and easily. The outside appears as well, if not better kept than the inside. The tires were replaced just last year, so you're not even on factory original tires. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, their original um, Reese dual cam weight distribution anti-sway combo hitch is included with this one. So like I said, that is several hundred dollars worth of hardware you're not going to need to purchase. Now, um, if you want one of our guys to set that up for you, we do need to compensate them for the labor time, but there's quite a few people who will look at a used RV and say, well, I could hook that up real quick, no sweat. Uh, so that, that's something that we don't build into the price tag. We know a lot of times people are buying used for the price tag, and we try not to ding that um, as much as reasonably possible. Now, this is equipped for easy camping. Power awning, power tongue jack, four corner power stabilizer jacks even. Um, there is no sort of special underbelly enclosure on this. I wanna make that known because um, that is something that Cherokee and Grey Wolf campers nowadays will tend to have. You will find like the nice little protective mud dauber screens on here though, keeping the uh, bugs from uh, getting into your furnace, you know, water heater type things. Um, again, this is that storage behind the sofa that I mentioned right here. It's not the biggest, deepest pocket in the world, but take whatever you can get where storage is concerned, you know, and it gives you a nice way to have separate stuff. You might have camping stuff in one place, utility stuff like hoses over there. We do have a full outside utility shower on here, which is nice. And that uh, 200 pound rated cargo rack on the back, um, great for strapping on bikes or, you know, extra coolers or anything like that. And since it's factory installed, it doesn't void warranties. Not that a used RV has warranties, but that's still true even on the new ones today. Um, the uh, They got a couple little I Love Michigan stickers on the back. They were definitely local folks. Uh, what is neat, too, not everybody wants an outside kitchen. And this is a non-outside kitchen model. So what that means is instead of an outside kitchen that some people feel is potentially lost storage space, you just have a cavernous storage, uh, well, cavern. <laughs> back here that is going to get the job done well. So once again, the tires were replaced just last year, which is why they look like there's brand new sneakers on this runner. Take a quick look at them. No weathering, no irregular wear patterns. And this does have a trail air suspension system, which is not a common find on this brand of camper. There's only a brief period you'd find those. Basically it has a rubber shock dampener. So when you hit the brakes or the gas, it softens the front to back chuck and jolt this camper will absorb. And that bedroom TV you saw, again, can mount in the living room or it could mount out here for you. And they put some nice non-slip uh, covers on the steps right there. And that bigger entry handle makes for easier coming and going. Overall, guys, like I said, if you don't care that there's like a 50 cent piece size little punch in the face of a dinette bench on the side that has absolutely no effect on how this thing's gonna camp for you, you're gonna be happy here. It even has a little uh, gas grill quick connect right up by the front here if you wanna do some grilling. So, a lot of good going on with this girl. Give us a call, hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery and everything between. We do it all at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.